here is the information we can have. Um, so from earlier, the couplers equations, and we have the time of flight is this. Uh, for the orbit, so say if this is the orbit, and if this is the focus, and if this is a point one, and if this is a point two, so between the point one and point two, we have a free flight, and that is a mu over a squared t equal to e2 minus e side e2 and minus e1 minus e side e1 okay and e1 e2 corresponding is the eccentric anomaly corresponding to the our initial and destination positions here and for our uh, ballistic uh, missile trajectory and we can apply, try to apply what the information is corresponding to those things here. So this is our Earth's surface. And this is the center, which is the uh, major focus of the orbit. So this is the burnout. And this is re-entry. So re-entry and burnout doesn't have to be symmetric. Okay. So this is our free flight here. And let me continue using the dash line to form our orbit. So uh, over here, this is perigee. So you can see basically the, the time of flight and at the free flight, and we're assuming uh, these portions, this portion here is symmetric, so basically this is the FG. So the time of flight from here to here, so this is corresponding to our drawing here, that is our point one. And this one, let me call the real is the point two, corresponding to here. So the time of flight, for the free flight, basically it's starting from here to here. And again, this one is symmetric passing through the apogee. So we can pretty much, as the time of flight is equal to two times of the flight amount from here to here. Okay? Okay, so now for these situations, we know basically that means, uh, again, corresponding to our formula, let me swap the point two to here. So basically, this is equal to two times the time of the free flight from point one to point two, corresponding to uh, the graphing here. Okay. So now we can see at point one, and we figure out what is the E one. So point one is here. At point one, this is our um, this is our true anomaly, and also, what is this angle here? This angle is our uh, half of our free flight path angle, right? Because here we taking the um, symmetric. This is the free flight of half, right? Okay, so basically here we can see the new one equal to pi minus this. And also we have corresponding value of the E1. And at point two, and at point two we know the true anomaly equal to pi. And then we have corresponding value of the E2. Okay, and then right now we I want to, to, to determine what is the uh, the the issue here. So, uh, to determine the value of E one 
and EQ. Then again, we copy from the our old the information because in our old formula, we know we have a formula. We have a formula we can convert uh, from new to E, and that formula is this tangent E over two equal to one minus E one plus E tangent new over two. So using this equation, we can convert. Okay, already we have those informations. So therefore, at point one, um, <laughs> um, I need to add up one more information. Um, this formula is what we used in our chapter four. And for this formula, when new approaching to pi, basically, let me make a note here. This equation, when new equal to pi, the tangent new over two approaching to infinity. No good? Okay, we're going to deal with the, the certain number with the infinity. So I would say this equation won't be appropriate in these chapters. So in this way, I would say we are not to use it. And rather than in our textbook, we have another equation. And that equation is this cosine E equal to E plus cosine nu and one plus E cosine nu. Okay, using this formula, that will give us the, uh, the beta operations. Okay, so using this one, so therefore, at point one, and we can determine the cosine E, one equal to a cosine, E plus cosine E one, and one plus E, Here uh, we simply plug in so cosine so where cosine u one we plug in the information here equal to cosine pi minus uh, e f f over two so this one is equal to um, minus um, cosine. Okay, so we can therefore E1 equal to our cosine E minus cosine 1 plus E cosine. Okay, so that is the one we can use. At point 2, and the same thing E2. We simply plug in u equal to pi. So plug in here, we can find out the EQ equal to uh, 180 degrees. So that is pi. Okay. So we plug in EQ and E1, etc. into these equations. So therefore, the time of flight uh, equal to so therefore the time of the free flight is two times of these numbers. Okay, so let me say the t time of the free flight equal to two times um, this number that is the a q minus mu and multiply with the e q e q equal to pi and sine times pi equal to zero so minus and whatever the E1, we get it E1 minus E sine E1. Okay, so I think this is the third equation in these chapters. So here we can see the E1 equal to uh, the number there. So if you, uh, let me rewrite here. So that is the information here we have.
You good? So now we're back to here. So.